you are doing cute and hello it is nice to meet you if you are returning then thank you very fucking much for coming back my name is Alana and I'm a lady living in Scotland in her 30s and this channel is usually all about hair care beauty skincare lifestyle bloggery vloggery type of bullshit with a liberal sprinkling of sarcasm and cynicism thrown in on top I do like the odd sweary words I like to say fuck shite and bugger it's just the way I am it's the language of love here in Scotland but I completely understand if that is not your cup of tea and please feel free to vacate right now if that is not your thing. There is a subscription button in the corner, however, if you do wish to subscribe. All that YouTuber shit. Anyway, so today it is that time of year again where we are feeling very peely wally, as we would say in Scotland, white. Uh, very, very pale. And Scotland, even though the rest of the country at the moment seems to be getting a mega heat wave, has had maybe two days two nice days of sun and that's about it. Um, to be fair, I do have a little bit of colour on my arms if I just show you my stomach. In comparison to my arms, I did catch a little bit of sun. I think it's because I've been out pushing my son about with a pram and I probably forget to put SPF on the hands. Like you do it here, you roll it all over your wrists and everything, but you forget your hands sometimes so they've got really, really bright. Anyway, Last year I done lots of kind of trial reviews. I think I done Dove, Palmer's, uh, Isle of Paradise, uh, Garnier as well. All these kind of reviews on self tanners and gradual tanners. And here we are again this year doing a similar thing. This year I've just got two to try and today's one is going to be Bondi Sands Gradual Tanner. Last year somebody actually requested that I would review that. I never got around to it. So here we are again. As you can see here, this is the kind of natural colour of me. This is the light shining in the window, etc. Natural lighting. I am going to move back a bit so you can see my really peely welly milk bottle legs. I'm sorry the setup isn't perfect. My bathroom is not huge. But I thought I would come in, show you kind of what the colour of me is before. There we go. And now we do have a little bit more jiggle after having Jack, but hey, fuck it. He was worth it. Um, but as you can see here, I am quite pale everywhere else, apart from my arms a little bit of colour. So this video is going to be a review of that product and if you're into that kind of thing, then just keep on watching. Alright, so I've zoomed you in ever so slightly now. As you can see, I am a very ghostly white kind of person. But I do actually take a really good tan normally. Uh, as long as I'm wearing my SPF, I do usually go a nice kind of golden brown colour. If I don't wear my SPF, then I'm going to look like a fucking lobster. That's the way it is. Today, as I said, I'm going to be trying this from Bondi Sands. What the plan is today is Friday, and today is the day where, not the same day every week, but my lovely little newborn son goes to his grandparents for the day and gives me a little bit of time to do these shit downs, like make YouTube videos, uh, or go for lunch with a friend, but my friend got COVID and I couldn't do that anymore. It's still here, people. Absolutely still here. Today is Friday, and I am going to apply this because this one says it is an everyday gradual tanning milk. And someone did request that I reviewed this last year. It says, you know, even streak free tan, ensure your skin is clean and dry. Apply it every day onto skin evenly in a circular motion. Use daily to ensure golden tan throughout the year. Wash hands after use. First of all, let me just give it a sniff because, you know, I like to do the sniff test. Okay, it's got quite an interesting scent to it. It's a little bit like... You know when you get a chocolate yogurt, so it's like maybe a Muller yogurt or something and it obviously smells like dairy, a little bit cheese. Not proper cheese, but you know what I mean. So it's got that kind of yogurty smell to it, but it's also chocolatey and cocoa -y. Yeah, it's a little bit similar to the Palmer's one that I reviewed last year. I just hit some of my nose. Let me wipe that off before it looks like, <laughs> like I've got something else on my nose later on. Um, so... It does smell very similar to the Palmer's one. Uh, I will let you know once I've got in the shower and used it what the texture is like. And what I'm going to do is use it today, Saturday and Sunday. And I will try and come back to you on Monday. It might be very, very quick because my son might be having a nap that day. But I will come back to you on Monday and let you see the results. If there are dramatic results, because that did happen with the Isle of Paradise one last year, I will stick those videos up in the corner if you haven't already seen them. Um, they're some of my most viewed videos. It must be this time of year people are looking for the best self tanners. But that one I presume is meant to be a gradual tanner and I put it on and the very next day I was like, whoa, I am so dark. I think I've done two applications of that one, I didn't do three. So we'll see how this looks tomorrow. If there's a big difference, then I'll come tomorrow and let you know. If not, we will leave it to Monday and I'll come and let you know. At the moment, I am going to 
get in a shower and I'm going to use this. It is the Soap and Glory Smoothie Star Scrub, Breakfast Scrub, sorry. It's the one I always use. It's my favourite, favourite scrub to use in the shower. I have spoke about it for years in this channel now. So that's what I'm going to use before I put this on. I'm going to do all that and come back to you and tell you about application and then we'll see how this goes. All right, so I'm back after my shower and I have applied the products. If you haven't been here before, if you are new, I wash my hair maybe two or three times a week, depending on what I'm doing that week, but I always wash my friend and then blow dry it straight. So if you're looking at me thinking, what is happening there? That's what's happening. Anyway, I have applied this product. What I'm gonna say is, first of all, it doesn't have a color on it, so it's not like light, medium, medium light, blah, 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 dark to medium down to deep and all that kind of stuff. It just says it's a gradual tanning milk. So I'm not sure how this would go on other skin tones. As you can see, I'm very peely belly white. That says it's a gradual tanning milk as well. I just want to point that out before I tell you how it went on. And just a body moisturizer, cocoa butter scent, which I agree, I think it's very like the Palmers. Putting it on, I can absolutely see why it's called a milk. It's not like a thick body butter or a heavy cream. Um, it's more similar to the Garnier in the sense that the Garnier was definitely like a lotion as well. It was very fresh and fruity smelling. This isn't that, but the texture is very similar. Almost a little bit gel-like, but certainly goes on. Like I can imagine why this is called a milk. If you think of putting something like creamy, but still loose on your skin, I know. Don't, don't even tell me what you put on your skin that's creamy and loose. Thank you very much. Um, but if you can imagine putting on something that's like a looser texture than butter, because body butter is very thick, and cream, like a double cream or something, this is probably like maybe more of a single cream consistency. So I can see why it's similar to being called a milk. And actually, I really enjoyed the texture. It's dried in really fast, but also it doesn't feel thick and heavy. Like, Sometimes when I've done, done tanners or when you're doing a tanner thing or even if you are just putting on your normal moisturiser you have to like let your body air a wee bit before you put on your house coat because you do feel like it's not quite sunk in yet. This sunk in really really fast and um, that wasn't an issue at all. Um, I have as I said scrubbed everywhere so we will see how it comes up in areas like here around my ankles and things but I have tried my absolute best to do it all over as best I can although Alan is not here today so my back has not been done so. It is what it is. Um, but that is where we're at in the moment. As I say, I really like the scent. Will it change into that self-tan scent? Yes, probably more than likely. I found last year that regardless of what self-tanner you're using, and I always kind of thought it anyway, it's always going to become funny self-tan scent. They do all have very nice smells now when you apply them as opposed to what they used to be like. But see, after that kind of six to eight hour mark and you've got them on, it is apparent, I have to say. So we'll see if this does the same. I think it probably will. Uh, and I will come back to you if there's a dramatic change tomorrow. And if not, I will come back to you in two to three days time, Monday. We'll say Monday, okay? It's Friday today. Come back to you after the weekend and tell you how it's went. Hello, so I am back after three applications, three days. Today is Monday and the last time you see me was Friday of the Bondi Sands Gradual Tanning Milk Everyday One. Now, just to show you, first of all, that is how much I have got through in kind of three applications. So I put it on Friday morning, Saturday morning, and Sunday morning. As I say, today is Monday morning. Um, my baby is actually napping at the moment. It's currently 20 past eight in the morning. <laughs> so I'm here very, very early, but he's having a wee nap, and I thought I'm just gonna hop on here and be able to do this, because Alan goes to work, and I don't have time to do these things anymore. But I thought it would come on, it's natural light, it's actually a really nice bright sunny morning in Glasgow today in Scotland. There is a heat wave happening throughout the UK, which actually today I think is going to be a lovely warm day. The last few days it's been dull and a bit drizzly in Glasgow, so when I keep seeing all this warning stuff on the news I'm a little bit like, what? I'll just keep using my tan because I'm clearly not going to get one. Uh, but it was a nice bright sunny morning this morning and I thought I would come on and show you how things have went. I think it is more apparent on the arm area here. I've shown you my stomach here. I think that you can see, but my arms are always gonna be darker than my stomach because these parts of me have been getting the sun if I'm out and about. So they do look a little darker on my arms than my tummy. I'm gonna come right back so you can see my legs as well. I'm really sorry, I know. I've said it a million times when I've done these videos, but I can't really get any more of me into the screen. I need to get a new camera and with a new baby, that has went out the window. But that is the legs there. I think, again, you can see the color on the legs. It's really quite nice. The only thing I'm gonna say is, 
So Friday into Saturday, I was like, I don't notice too much, maybe a little bit of a golden glow. And then Saturday into Sunday, I thought, oh, that's really nice. The color is gorgeous. Um, and there was no obvious like markation lines round about the wrists, the ankles, the toes, all that kind of stuff. It was all looking very smooth and even. And then yesterday I put on another coat because I thought, right, I'm gonna do three goes. And today my feet look a little bit hobbity. Uh, they look a little green. <laughs> I am going to slot a picture in here if I can get a nice clear picture. They started to get that fake tanny looking way. Um, so if I'm going to put on another coat today, which I'm not going to follow up this video, but if I wanted to put another coat on today and just keep using it daily, I might find I use it every second day or I might find that I may be only putting it on larger areas of me like my stomach and my chest than my arms rather than going over the hands and stuff that you would normally do. Um, I obviously want them to be even and on my feet to be even, but it's starting to get that way where you can see the fake tan around about my feet. So for that reason, I probably won't put this on today. I'm just gonna leave things as they are, let things die down a little bit. All that being said, I think this is really nice and something I'm gonna say, I never ever thought I would hear the words coming out of my mouth is, I don't think this has the smell. Every single tanner in all my years that I've ever tried, whether it's a gradual tanner, whether it's um, one of these ones that goes on for a couple of hours, they always have that smell, even though they claim they don't. As I said, this smells like, like cocoa, cocoa butter, but every other kind of tanner that I've used, about the six to eight hour mark, you smell that fake tanny smell. And I have to say, I have not smelt that with this at all. Uh, again, normally, if you, you know, you're putting that on, then you start to smell it. As soon as you have a shower again, it goes away, but you keep the color. But the scent is always kind of there after you've applied it after a few hours. I don't think this one has that. I genuinely don't. I never, ever thought I would fucking say that, but I really don't. So, long and short of it is, I'm quite impressed with this. I think it's really nice. I think it's gave a nice kind of natural color. Um, it definitely is more on, how do I say this? It's not an orangey like tanner, whereas you know how the Santrope goes a little green. The classic Santrope goes kind of green. You wash it off and then you're the right color. It's more like that. It goes that more green color than it does the golden orangey color. For me, I'm quite happy with that because orangey just doesn't really work on me. And if I was to take a tan, it would probably go more kind of golden color than an orangey color. I'm just gonna lift my hair off my chest as well so you can see. I don't think you can really see much difference here. I think I actually look really pale here still. Um, but it is all over across here as well. It's very even. I don't know if that's just because the light's coming in the window. I don't think there's any kind of obvious lines here. I would show you, but that could get quite explicit. Um, you know when you get things here, and I think I mentioned in one of the videos before, a lot of the time because I wear my pump in this area, it's rubbing. And that was when I was at work, because I'm on maternity leave at the moment. I'm not wearing my pump in a bra all day long. Um, it's maybe clipped to my hip because it doesn't matter on my normal clothes, but in a uniform where I usually put my pump, I have to slot it into my bra. So I've not been doing that. So I can't really compare it with that. But there's no obvious like lines here underneath my bust or anything like that that's gathered. So the long story short is that I think this is pretty good. I'm quite impressed with this. Uh, how much is in this? This is a 375ml bottle. I think it's quite like the Dove one, if I'm honest with you, it's quite similar. The texture is kind of similar. This is maybe a little more milky, but it's that gel to milk kind of formula, as I already mentioned in application. And I think that the color is quite similar to the Dove one. Like you're putting it on and it's not boof in your face. It's a few days before you start seeing the color and once it's on, it's quite nice. The only thing I will say is this retails for about 12 to 13 pounds, I want to say. Um, you can obviously get it on offers as well, but the Dove one retails normally about seven pounds. And again, as I say, at the moment on offer is three pound 50 in boots. So it swings in roundabouts. Uh, I think this is probably a little bigger than the Dove one. So again, you have to take that into consideration. I really, really like this. I think it's very, very nice. I'm intrigued by more from Bondi Sands. I see they do a spray SPF as well. So I'm quite into that. I might go and see if I can pick that up as well now. But for my first review of a Bondi Sands product, the first impressions are very good and I really, really enjoyed it. Thank you for the recommendation to try it because I really, really do think this is very nice and I don't regret purchasing it. So now I'm gonna creep back into the bedroom and see if he's awake. And he probably is awake. He's probably just lying there looking at me like, 
where the hell did you go? Um, so I'm going to go in and see my little boy. I hope this was useful to you. I hope you liked it. There will be another one coming. I've got a Vita Liberata mousse to do as well, which I have a wedding in a couple of weeks. So I am going to apply that pre-wedding and I will show you the effect the day after. That is going to be one of those kind of situations. I will put up other videos, as I said, it is in the corner in the cards there of all the other things that I have tried with gradual tanners. It is the time of year for it, so why not? Try not to get yourself burnt. Why not just do it in a bottle? All that kind of stuff. And I will see you all again in the next one. Bye.